हे एवरी वन आई होप यू ओल आर डूइंग ग्रेट इन योर लाइफ एंड इन योर स्टडीज ऑल्सो सो टूडे इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस हाउ टू अटैम्प्ट मैक्सिमम क्वेश्चन इन क्वांट इन आर बी आई असिस्टेंट एग्जामिनेशन ओके सो एज वी ओल नो दैट यू नो राइट नाउ देर इज अराउंड एटीन डेज लेफ्ट फॉर द एग्जामिनेशन एटीन टू नाइनटीन डेज आर देयर एंड देर आर मैनी स्टूडेंट्स हु आर नॉट एबल टू परफॉर्म वेल इन क्वान्ट्स एंड इन रीजनिंग लाइक यू आर बेसिक्स आर क्लियर बट यू आर नॉट एबल टू अटैम्प्ट मैक्सिमम क्वेश्चन सो दिस इज द प्रॉब्लम ऑफ सो मैनी एस्पायरेंट्स एंड टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट हाउ यू कैन अटैम्प्ट मैक्सिमम क्वेश्चन इन क्वान्ट्स बिकॉज इट इज़ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट दैट यू गेन द एज इन क्वान्ट्स एंड इन रीजनिंग इफ यूर इंग्लिश इज वीक सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इन क्वान्ट वट यू हैव टू डू इज दैट यू हैव टू प्रैक्टिस लाइक इफ यूर बेसिक्स आर क्लियर then you have to practice the questions on daily basis और अगर आपको questions practice करने हैं तो आप ये book भी use कर सकते हैं ये फोर थाउजेंड क्वेश्चन की बुक है और ये इंग्लिश में है बाकी इसका हिंदी वर्जन भी अवेलेबल है तो ऑल द चैप्टर्स आर गिवन इन दिस बुक लाइक यू कैन सी सिंप्लीफिकेशन दैन नंबर सीरीज एल्जेब्रा इज ऑल्सो देअर परसेंटेज रेशियो प्रपोर्शन दैन एवरेज सो ऑल द चैप्टर्स आर देयर and after that dis are also given level wise like level 1 level 2 and level 3 level 1 is for prelims and level 2 and level 3 for mains theek hai then quantity questions are also there and in this book like the time is also there in which you should solve the question okay this is the ideal time and here the smart answer key is also given in this answer key it is shown that how much percent people have solved this question and how much have skipped this question so this is also good and after that the detailed solution is also there and there are all the chapters covered in this book so it will be good for your daily practice and the link of this book will be given in the description okay and the link of both hindi and english will be given questions on daily basis and you have to change your strategy of attempting the mock okay and second if you are a beginner then you need to complete the basics as soon as possible and like if your basics are somewhat clear but some chapters are left then i am going to tell you how you can do it okay so first of all in the mock test there are one liner questions like simplification approximation number series are there so just try to attempt those questions as fast as you can so that you can save the time for data interpretation and other arithmetic questions okay so like if there are 20 minutes given so you should try to attempt all the miscellaneous all the one liner questions in 5 minutes maximum okay and in this way you will gain around 12 to 13 marks in the 5 minutes and after that you will feel confident about attempting the other questions and you will be able to attempt the hard questions also okay because if your confidence is high then you will take a chance to attempt the tricky questions also so first of all there are one liners which you can attempt very easily okay and if you are preparing for banking then i am assuming that your basics of simplification approximation all these things you know after that what you have to do is just try to jump on the data interpretation and for data interpretation you have to know ratio and proportion and percentage these type of chapters and it is very easy if you have done maths till 12 till 10th then it is not going to be a problem for you you just attempt the di and the solving di will take around 3 to 4 minutes i think okay and it will give you 5 mar 5 marks so after that there are only arithmetic questions left and this is the major problem of all the aspirants like maximum aspirants who are from non maths background this is the major problem lies here we get stuck in the arithmetic questions and after that our attempts decrease so what you should do is first of all if you are like try to find the questions which are like one liner in which like there is average was given and then the like the weight questions are given that one person is added and after that the average is this so what is the weight for that person so these type of questions are very easy then there are ages based question which are also very easy that the age difference was there and the time period is given so these questions are very easy but there are some tough questions also like if they have given the difference of simple interest and compound interest 
or like if they have given train speed and distance question then like some tricky ones okay so what you should do is you should try to practice like apart from the mock test try to practice the max is the mix questions of arithmetic on daily basis this is what i used to do okay i used to practice mixed questions so that you know i come across more type of questions and in this way because in the in the real examination the questions will not be there from one single chapter no you have to face the mixed questions so that's why you should try to practice the mixed questions so that you can your mind can work in different directions once you are solving the ages based question then the next second you are solving speed and distance questions so these mixed type of questions will help your brain work more and for quants like if you want to practice questions and or if your basics are not clear then i came across a playlist in which there are there is mahipal sir and he teaches the questions like basics questions are also there and the mains level content is also there so i found it pretty good because on youtube mains level material is not there but he has provided like the in the playlist all the chapters all the basics are given and after that some daily practice 